it's not something that I go, I wake up and I go, God, I'm powerful. You know, it's more the work that I'm allowed to do now, you know, and the level of involvement that I have, I guess that's perceived as powerful. I just call it hard work, you know, an earned place in, in my business. I feel like I've paid my dues, and I think you earn that, that power. What does power mean to me? Power means confidence, belief in yourself, believe in what you are doing and find your voices, find your, your strength and don't let anyone dim your spirit, your light and what you have to bring to the table. And I think that's really being proven to all of us in extraordinary ways in the last few years. I think it's important for women to support each other and to not root against each other and to understand the power of friendships because one of the most powerful things that I have in my life are the women that I cultivated friendships with almost 30 years ago, 35 years ago, and they are still my girlfriends today. So I say cultivate those beautiful friendships as a young woman and they will support you as you, you know, get older and keep you grounded and keep you on your toes and focused and never let you get away with anything. I mean, I just think so much is shifting right now, and I think so many opportunities are being are, are presenting themselves. You know, these these terrible things have happened, but but my God, look at the opportunities that's now coming out of those terrible tragedies that happened to these women. You know, and the whole Me Too of it all, these sacrifices unknown at the time, sacrifices that they made that actually were going to create a moment like now, where that is just not allowed anymore. Behavior like bad behavior. Is just not allowed. I think women need support of each other. I think we need more female screenwriters. I think we need to have more female stories. I mean, we're over half of the population are women and they have incredible stories. My partner and I, when we started doing this around 14 years ago, it was sort of looked upon as, oh, isn't that so cute? And it took us a while to be taken seriously. We knew that we were not going to necessarily get those phone calls returned and we had to prove ourselves and now looking back at it I just think that it's changed that wouldn't happen it's not that hard today for women to have their phone call taken the part you guys never seem to realize is that you don't have the power anymore and frankly I've let you bozos handle this long enough we are doing this my way Reese and I were so just feel so proud that we are a part of Launching a new network, being the first show for Apple, and they're such extraordinary partners. And there's a lot of women that are involved in this. Our showrunner, Carrie Aaron, who created a stunning and gorgeous world for all of these characters. I mean, I've never read material like, like she has written. It's so raw, it's so beautiful, it's so messy, it's powerful. Mimi Leader, our fearless leader, as I call her, is our director and also executive producer as well. And then Reese and I. So I feel very proud. This is Jennifer. Hi. Oh, that's oh my Caitlin. God. Hi. And that's Eli. Hi. Nice to meet you. St. Jude is a research hospital that does research for children's cancer that Danny Thomas started, and Marlo and Tony Thomas, Danny's children, continue to support. When Marlo did Friends a long, long time ago, uh, she asked me to go to a St. Jude event that would happen to be happening that evening. And I went, and I think I was about 26 years old. That was it. They showed an extraordinary piece of film about these children, about the hospital, about the research that they were doing. And I was in tears, and David Geffen was sitting at the table I was at with Marlo, and he just turned around and handed her a check for a million dollars. And I it was, I'd never seen that happen before. <laughs> so I was like, I want to do this. And these little children are angelic heroes that inspire me tremendously. They are unbreakable, they are unstoppable, and you would think that they didn't even know that they, that they had cancer.